Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back to Enemy Within. We have a terror mission in Guangzhou. I think that's maybe how it's pronounced. Uh, let's get out there. This is kind of a newbie squad in a sense. Like we're taking Beagle and we're taking Bloodfest. Like we're not taking all of our top dogs, but we're taking a few of them. That's for sure. Um, we're gonna try to focus on getting Beagle Rush and Tarmissa Bloodfest some kills. So that would be fancy if that happened. Dropship has arrived. We're heading into China for the next operation. All right, we know the drill here. Disturbing reports indicate the aliens are openly attacking civilian targets within a major city. I am going to try to capture or capture, save a lot of the civilians, specifically with Gussie because of her special ability, being able to be invisible pretty much nonstop. Strike team is in position near the terror site, awaiting confirmation. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. Well, we found our first group. And I have no problem trying to shoot them. <laughs> but I can't shoot them. So if we can sneak in here without them being alerted. Got something over here. Nope, not going to happen. Okay, Beagle. How are we going to save you this time? Heading there now. Let's throw out our mechs. Into the fray. Moving. And I'm just moving everybody up into what I think are probably safe positions. We still have a shot back here, even with Tarmissa, so that's pretty good. You know what? I'm going to take two rapid fires at a low percentage. And you know what? Let's not do that. Vamos. Let's run and gun somewhere. Estoy en marcha. It's half cover, but... We'll see how this goes. Okay, that works. So that's one. I probably should have went on the other one, because everyone else here is a bit closer. Let's see if now Beagle can get this kill. Okay. Pretty lucky. <laughs> but I'll take that. And I'm going to overwatch these two because they don't have the reduction in aim. And there's only one left that we can't see this guy, so... That's an unfortunate miss. That probably means one dead civilian. Watch this. Oh my god. Oh, he's just running. Good. Oh, hello. Engaging. That's great news. By great news, I mean this is terrible for everyone involved, civilians and me. They have a huge height advantage. And now I don't know what they're doing. Oh, that sounded like a cyber disc. Okay, this one came outside. That's actually good news. Um, if I go here, can I get them both? I betcha. Oh, and we found more. Wow, okay. This would be a time to blow things up. Oh, we got cyber discs here. This is not good. I'm kind of not sure where to go here. Oh, and another batch. <laughs> this is not going to be easy. At least, at least this guy we can control. We can deal with him. Let's do this. Let's actually, let's do, let's try to pull him back. Because I'm not, I don't think I'm going to move anybody else in. But if we hit him, then he runs towards us, so... Let's see if... If Boom Boom can hit him. 
Now that'll bring him closer to the rest of the group. What? Oh no! no. What's His intimidate no. worked. This is a right. this I was is a hoping right. to get two shots off with her, but the luck was not there today. Now we could easily do some damage to him by blowing up this car. That is a viable option. But getting to that position isn't going to be easy. Let's see if Beagle here can hit him. We're pretty close, so... Don't fall for it. And now we're going to have this shot here. I'm going to take a shot. And then I'm going to probably kinetic strike him to finish him off if I need to. So look at that. Okay. Well, maybe Tarmissa can get this kill now, then. There's no sense in stunning him, really. Unless we can interrogate these big guys. You know what? Let's try it. 95. We'll take him, I guess. Why not? Now we have a 50% chance to hit here, or I blow up the car. And if I blow up the car, I kill a civilian, which is probably going to kill next time anyways. But let's just go for the 50%. Not so lucky this time. Oh, damn it! That civilian has to be losing it right now. Realigning optics. Se están moviendo. Don't shoot at Tarmissa! No! Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean better than the alternative. Uh-oh. Do they have a chance to miss civilians? Because uh, I don't think they I've ever seen them actually miss. Look at them just destroying everything. Oh, I don't like this one bit. Can I go now? Thank you. This is, uh, this is bad, by the way. The way this, like, look at this. There's more enemies than civilians in the immediate area. And they're all on different levels. Oh, this is just ridiculous. Let's see, can I get these guys up here? These ones that are just free floating. Oh, I can kind of. I can get them here, which wouldn't be a bad idea. But I'm a little bit worried about this cyber disc back here. I can't kill him anyways. I think I'm gonna take this. Bring in the pain. And I'm hoping now that I don't move, that I don't have to move my mechs, because if I do, they are going to be... Well, we can get them in a better position, but I'd rather take two shots with them, I think. Or do I want to just, do I want to deal eight damage down here, or six with the shredder? I'm not sure where to focus, because this, this thing will flank us. That's a big problem. I could run and gun. Oh, no, I can't run and gun. Damn it. And I can't get to full cover either. All right, I'm going to take the eight damage on these folks. Whoa, what? Oh, that damn civilian. You know what? I think we're going to have to sacrifice the civilian. That's just a price we're going to have to pay on this one. Oh, and we found another one. I accept. And 
he overwatches. He, like, overwatches on... Like, in weird scenarios. I don't fully understand it. Um... Jeez. This is not looking good. What I really need to do is these these 65s right here, like, this needs to be a hit. Oh, that is beautiful. I'm almost wondering if I should get... Oh, I can't. I should have maybe... No, then I wouldn't have got two shots. All right. That'll work. Because what I was thinking is I probably should have got closer. So that we had a better chance uh, to get our, our passive off. And what I mean by that is his uh, shock absorbent armor thing. So that the hits from closer do less damage. These are low percentage. My god. No damage on selected target. Ah, oh, two misses. Yikes, that is Ammo good, not good. Depletion. Oh Jesus. Matando. That's not the shot I wanted. Oh. All right. The shot I wanted was here. Which I could get with our sniper, but... Then we'd be in big trouble. So... I'm gonna do... I'm gonna go into full cover here on both sides. And I'm gonna toss a Mimic Beacon and hope... Oh, damn it. There goes part of my cover. I'm flanked now. Shit. Alright. What's the range in this beacon? It's pretty big. Let's, um... Let's just throw it away from us. I'm really hoping that works. Worked on that guy. It's working on him too. You go now. Get in there. Good boy. So much for saving a bunch of civilians. The cyber disc is what I'm really worried about. Is he going in too? Uh oh. Is he? Wait. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh, go in the mech. Oh, I'm okay with that. <laughs> They're taking the bait. Hook line. Uh oh. So they go to it, but they don't... They'll still shoot at you if you're within vision. So they're smart enough. Oh god. Okay. God, do we need to get a rocket in there real, real bad. Uh... Give me control. There we go. I think they're too far for a rocket, though. Oh, they are not too far. Which means, time to get Tufson way out of here. Well, maybe not way. Right here would work fine. Okay. Now, let's grab Boom Boom, toss in a Shredder. We'll get as many of them as we can. It's six damage, plus... Plus, they're gonna take more damage from everyone else. As long as we don't miss this. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. We are crawling through this right now. Beagle, this would be pretty clutch if you could get this kill. Oh, yes. Bye -bye. That'll do. Goddamn Mimic Beacons are the best. Now these guys, they have armor, but are they resistant to flame? I'm pretty sure they're still organic enemies. We're gonna find out. Yep, they sure are. Now, if we go here, we'll have protection of Gussie, but no ammo. <laughs> so, is that a good idea? Probably. Yeah, okay, let's reload. Now, if we could take out a couple of these guys, we've got in the zone. We could take out this one. What? Oh, right. I moved already. Okay. Let's try and take this guy down then. I could run and gun. I could grab the full cover. That's not a bad idea. And I don't think we'll get the kill on this turn unless we get lucky with this shot. But you never know. 69 there. Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna go for 250s. Oh! Didn't even need to. And the best news is that we're still alive. But this has been ridiculous. Uh oh. Oh god, I think I may have spoke too soon. Nope. He's not gonna stand in the open. He's gonna take a ridiculous cover spot by the truck. But he is going to do the same. Okay. What the hell is wrong with these guys? Stay alive. Good job. These little drones are so annoying. This might actually... Oh, God. This may actually be our last group here that we need to kill. It's weird. It, like, switches back to my turn and then, like, thinks about... How it's going to best ruin me. I'm thinking... Well, I could blow up that truck. And that's a pretty good way to go. But I could probably kill these guys regardless. Now, let's switch over to the sniper. We'll take out... Well, let's take out this one first. not in cover, so that's cool. We'll try and take out this. Hopefully it does enough. No! What a waste. Alright, let's 1v1 this guy. I could panic him, but I don't actually want him to run away, so... Neutralisiert. Position confirmed. Calling in the overkill. Oh. Well, you know what? I don't care. Let's Getting do this. Close. I love it. <laughs> I'm rolling. There's one drone left. I mean, I'm going to come out here My and... Tango. Oh, I can't kill it. Are you serious? There must be... It must just be above this wall. Good to go. Whoa, how does he have a shot? Oh, Jesus. I didn't see him. Oh, Jesus. That's bad. That's bad news. Oh, man. Uh, damn it. You just run back. These guys are flank. This is not good. Alright. 
They go for the civilians over us, which I guess is kind of our saving grace right there. Now, now we're going to deal with this situation. I don't have enough ammo, so I'm just going to start hitting them with stuff. He went up here, didn't he? Not letting him get away. Position confirmed. Hello. Engaging in close combat. Oof. It's now it's literally like swatting flies. If we can if this is the end, which I'm hoping it is, um we'll save eight civilians, which is better than my projected zero. On my way. Five minutes ago. Seven damage, reels. That's affirmative. Now, she'll hit, and she might crit him to kill him. She did. Commander, the operation was a success. Oh, well, not bad. Considering the shitstorm we walked in on, that actually worked out pretty well. Sometimes you get that weird glitch where they, you think they switch pistols, or switch their pistol, but they use the regular gun, but it does the pistol damage. Looks like they're holding a pistol, but they're holding this giant I figured the sniper rifle. Would put up more of a fight. They didn't look so tough this time around. Sure didn't. Uh, we'll take a bullet swarm on Beagle. Excellent work, Commander. Capturing the alien subjects alive allows for a much wider range of experimentation versus the expired specimens. I wonder where we get this meld from. In that scenario. Panic in China is decreased Remember, by two. We will be watching. I think I may have said it reduces worldwide panic, but that's not the case. Like, look at... Or maybe it did decrease worldwide panic. Because our panic is at an extreme low right now. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's do this. Well, we don't have any money, actually, so there's not much we can do. Let's just get our firestorms. That's awesome. We've done some big things here, but I have to admit, my team and I are most proud of the work we put into the Firestorm. Let's check this out. So, the Firestorm, these demons here, they're good. Don't get me wrong. Um, which one does... I think laser is better. It's still not the best, but... Let's arm these on the two firestorms, and then we'll probably transfer them when they're ready. Okay, they're armed. So I'm going to actually transfer them both out so we have room to build two more. Let's, uh, I guess it's just a guess, really, so I'm going to transfer them anywhere. Thanks Do I have anything elements, I can sell? Our engineering team has managed to negate billions of dollars in traditional aerospace development with a single ship. Hmm. There's not much I can sell anymore. Firestorms cost 70. I don't want to sell a power source or a, or a computer to get them, though, so... 
Everything else is fair game. I'm going to sell some sectoid corpses. I have a lot of them. I More than I thought. I'm going to sell some heavy floaters as well. And muton corpses. There's no real reason to keep, like, more than... Even ten is a lot, but... Right, this will get us enough for two firestorms. They take forever to, to acquire. The other thing I'm going to look at here is some of our genetics. So I'm thinking, Rage-Ri, you've already got the, the Nemetic skin. Adaptive Bone Marrow, it's good, but I find I don't use it because it only stacks up to the regular HP of the soldier. And when they have the armor on, it's like barely happens. Muscle Fiber Density is really nice, though. Um, soldier Miss Pheromones again, offensive benefits. Yeah, right. We did this with uh, Boom Boom. I think I'm going to try to grab a bunch of these. Let's also take this. And we should probably start grabbing some of these um, neural ones. I need a bit more cash, though. Because now I'm kind of starting to think about getting into the psionic stuff. And some of the... Some of the abilities could help us pretty well. Let's sell some of these mectoid cores. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can sell unless I get into like Illyrium and stuff, which I don't want to do. So let's see here. Let's throw in Rage Ru. Probably be in there for a while. But I'm kind of hoping that Rage Ru becomes our like our gifted soldier. Um, any one of these three, I really, really I really like all these soldiers. They've done an awesome job from like very, very early on, so. Let's see what we can do. Let's do uh, Neuro Sympathy. Let's do plus aim on a shot after a miss. I wonder if this stacks with the, um, what's the ability? The rapid fire. So the second rapid fire, I, I guess it would. Now, causes damage to side attacks and puts all their side attacks on cooldown. Plus 20 will. Immunity to panic. If their mind control control is cancelled. Yeah, you know what? I think that's pretty good. Because if we lose this soldier to mind control, that could be really bad. I'll take this one stun over that. This is good too. Um, but I don't... I like being able to block a mind control. She's going to be in for nine days. Do I want to just throw one of these on? Not really. Let's do it. Nine days. Get Excellent. in there. We'll begin prepping the candidate for surgery immediately. I will notify you when the genetic modif- Sorry, I didn't mean to cut her off there. We've got plasma rifles now. Or sniper rifles, I mean. So this is good. What do we want to do next? Plasma cannon would be nice for our ships. Or I could go to EMP cannons. I probably won't build a skeleton suit for the climbing. But, uh... Here, we'll do the interrogation. Alright, arm... Okay, well, that's actually good. So that could get us to our Titan armor a lot quicker. We could skip the skeleton suit. And go right to Titan armor. Let's do it. That's actually... That actually works out really well. What the hell? Sir! Internal systems are shutting down all over HQ. What? Whoa, what? This is central. Security 
status red. Repeat. Oh, this isn't good. What have oh, you done? Oh, oh. Answer me! Sir, we're picking up movement near the outer perimeter. Multiple senses have been tripped. We have a breach. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is the, uh... This is the, uh, base defense, isn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> Hostile forces have infiltrated XCOM headquarters and are moving in with reinforcements. We have to protect the base at all costs. If we don't hold the line here, any hope we had of stopping this invasion will be lost. That is insane. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, you're going to have to wait till next time to see the base defense in Africa. Defend our base. If all our soldiers in the combat are killed, XCOM HQ will fail. What? This is insane. Limited reinforcements, including XCOM base security personnel. This is nuts. Okay, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.